Farmers march to Delhi met with hurdles. Haryana creates roadblocks. Punjab CM condemns actions. Farmers protesting on a highway, holding signs and flags. Thousands of farmers from Punjab and Haryana are making their way to Delhi for a protest demanding fulfillment of promises made by the Modi government after the 2021 farmers' agitation. However, their journey has been met with hurdles created by the Haryana government, raising concerns and criticism. Key points, farmers' demands. The Delhi Chalo protest seeks to address unfulfilled promises, including a minimum support price, MSP, law, and other concerns related to agriculture. Haryana's roadblocks. The Haryana government has constructed elaborate blockades on the Punjab-Haryana border, including cemented walls, barricades, and even dug up nails to deter tractors. Delhi police restrictions. Section 144 has been imposed in Delhi, prohibiting gatherings and rallies. Government dialogue. A second round of talks is scheduled between union ministers and farmer leaders in Chandigarh. Support and criticism. While the Samyuk Kisan Morcha, SKM, is not participating, other groups like BKU, Doaba, have pledged support. Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man condemned the Haryana government's actions. Farmers' perspective. Leaders like Sarvan Singh Pandar view the protest as necessary due to the government's alleged failure to keep its promises. They emphasize their peaceful intentions and criticize the Haryana government's heavy-handed tactics. Comparisons are drawn to the 2020 farmers' protest, raising concerns about potential escalation. Government's position. The Haryana government has not publicly commented on the specific reasons behind the roadblocks. The scheduled talks suggest an attempt to address the farmers' concerns through dialogue, uncertainties and concerns. The effectiveness of the protest and its government restrictions remains to be seen. The potential for further escalation and the impact on public order are points of concern. The success of dialogue in resolving the issues and preventing further confrontation is crucial. Further developments. Monitoring the progress of the protest, government actions, and potential outcomes is important. Analyzing the impact of the situation on farmers, the government, and society as a whole will be necessary. This situation highlights the ongoing challenges faced by Indian farmers and the complexities involved in addressing their demands. Continued attention and analysis are needed to understand the developments and their potential implications.